Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to talk Taskmaster. It's gonna be a quick intro today. Uh, I'm just excited to dive into a new episode. I, it's been a crummy week. Sometimes you just have them. No particular reason, just not the best week. But I am, I'm ready for some fun. I'm ready to laugh my ass off. I've been really impressed with this particular series of Taskmaster in particular so far. I've said how I don't even have a horse in the race. I'm loving all the contestants. So let's see what they get up to this week, shall we? This is episode six of series 15 of Taskmaster. My milk now. It feels like a Frankie's going to say that. Thanks to me, the chips to my fish, the nut to my bolt, the toilet bowl to my heavy beef lunch. <laughs> Yes, please. Okay, well, let's play. What sort of pie is this? Oh. It's really wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, a chicken. Pie. It is a chicken pie. Okay. He's one I spy. <laughs> you demanded the comedians brought in the best thing to play about with in your bathroom. A piano. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, that's fun. What tunes could a man play on this piece of tat? Oh, we're talking three blind mice. <laughs> um, <laughs> end of sentence. <laughs> that is a disappointing start. If people stay around my house, I want them Sunglass to have a very related? exciting and thrilling time. So I've made uh, a toothpaste Russian roulette. Toothpaste Russian roulette. Okay, so <laughs> one has mayonnaise, one has cream cheese, one has face oh. cream, and one has toothpaste. Quite I mean, fun though. Anyway. It's fun, and you've made an effort. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know how when you have a bath. You set up a lot of candles, you create an atmosphere. Why not use that atmosphere to contact the dead? <laughs> <laughs> Members of the group, the Bee Gees. A, we a Bee Gee Ouija? Bee Gee Ouija board. <laughs> oh, I love their prize tasks this season. I brought in a prize task that combines a lovely bit of music, a lovely bit of danger, and even a little bit of death. <laughs> and painted by Ivo, oh, I can tell. Doesn't you want to bathe with her? This is a charming mouth brace I have to wear at night. Have okay. you lost your mouth? <laughs> it can never get properly clean. In short, Jenny has brought in a dental pod. Yeah, one. I thought if I ask them to get me one on this, I'll go home with it. <laughs> <laughs> one point for Jenny and Claire. <laughs> Two points to May. Mm. Three to Ivo, I think. Right. Four oh. to Kyle. So Frankie Ball takes the five yeah, points. Frankie deserves the win. I didn't think Greg thought much of Kyle's toilet piano, but I guess I'm wrong. Yes, I know. I, I agree. Okay, here is a task right now. <laughs> Imaginary friend related? That's different. Hello. Two chairs, that's a bit ominous. Yeah. Oh, gosh, the heart. But it's the broken heart twin pendant thing. Yeah, what is it all about? Invent an imaginary companion. This is kind of like... Then complete a domestic New task Zealand with your three. imaginary companion. Your imaginary companion must either be much taller or much littler than you. Most poignant scene wins. A poignant? And they would do absolutely anything to get his hands on some cookies. It's good, right? Kyle, Louis, about to do the washing up. Mm, since I found you under a toadstool, I've felt like I finally make sense, you know? So tell me more about your plans for life. Do you know I've always got your back? Forever. Yeah, it's a little bit late. Yeah. Oh no. I'm just gonna put these away, yeah? Are they all gonna Don't die? Move. A little more spice. Oh no! All three of us.
Genuinely harrowing moments. <laughs> Salvatore boiled to death. And then Frankie, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why, at never at any point, did you seek to open the uh, oven door? Cheaper than a cremation. <laughs> <laughs> the notion that Salvatore used to, and I quote, rock your body. <laughs> I'd like more people at funerals to give speeches about how they were going to miss the sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. That's the end of part one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she didn't go. <laughs> You're so funny. You make me laugh all the time. She didn't go with the tiny bra man. We're, we're, we're just killing all our imaginary friends. I guess when you ask for poignant, that's what you get to. Oh, Ed, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm not sure I've ever felt less moved. <laughs> There's not a court in the land that wouldn't convict you of murder there. <laughs> Hot summer's day. Does his license plate say Ivo? In their cars. Make sure you're thorough. Oh, it's looking great. That's got to be CG. I'm so proud of you. Or they're just, I'm so yeah. proud of us. They've just tracked that in. One day we're going to go on the sweetest road trip together. Singing each other songs through our windows. You love something. Set it free. The only one who didn't die. Yes, I, I drew on some powerful real experience. Uh, it speaks to a certain level of social status, though, doesn't it, when your imaginary friend has a car? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's imaginary friend at Eaton had a, had a car. Okay, three points to Kyle. May and Ivo, I would probably give four points to, because when Frankie shouted, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I, I actually out loud went, oh my God. <laughs> Frankie's having a, an episode. He may actually win one. <laughs> Something funny about an egg. <laughs> Efficiently shell an egg. You may not touch any part of any egg. With your hands, and you may only break the shell of one of the eggs. Uh, why have I got all these eggs if I'm only doing one egg? Well, one's going to be question. one's going to be hard boiled. Fewest pieces of eggless shell wins. Why is this so confusing? Fewest pieces so, of egg. Do you understand the task? No. Oh, really, Alex? No. no. Fewest. I'm, I'm not clear and I, I... They couldn't use their hands, they had to peel the egg in as few pieces as possible. We gave them a choice of eggs because that might be important, it might not. Right, that then! <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of test the weight. That's quite a sensible thing to do, isn't it? Is there a hollow egg? You've taken the shoe off. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Were you aiming for the middle of the egg? Yes, I was. <laughs> Three minutes forty-four left. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Let's get the rest of this out. Does, does eating a hard-boiled egg is that the same as like with the small enough egg? Just, like, be three just, just eat it like a, a soft-boiled egg, right? We're definitely keen that you shell an egg. Yeah, you. <laughs> or just a, a knife. Yes. <laughs> She's eating the evidence. I love it. <laughs> if, if you did it like a soft boiled egg and you had a clean slice to start like jenny did you could do it in two i think the only th good thing i did in that 10 minutes was keep both of my shoes on <laughs> <laughs> i don't think even the successful shellers amongst us will have provided any answer as to why there were five eggs oh they one of them has well, uh, well uh, several me and Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> We're in thicko corner. <laughs> Jenny and I. <laughs> Don't they teach that in Eaton? Thicko corner. 
Ivo, 13 pieces of eggshell. Jenny, 20 pieces. And that's not including the pieces you ate. Yeah, <laughs> which were many. <laughs> I'm looking for the hardest possible egg. No, no, if you, if you, if one of them's liquid, then you can do the drill, waddle, shake out thing and you've shelled the egg in one, uh-oh. That's an even better solution. Kyle's not gonna do well here. Take the floater. <laughs> Calipers. I don't know what that is. Right. Now what? Oh, that's a wet one. I don't really understand how that's happened. So many pieces! Oh. A mess. Yeah. Like, if you find a liquid egg, a raw egg, so far I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Ivo might be in the lead. I don't know what Kyle's numbers are going to be like. I hadn't entirely understood the task, and also... <laughs> I stopped caring. <laughs> welcome to Thicko Corner. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> there were six little bits, but that's a okay. lot fewer than uh, Frankie, who had 83. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is why Frankie may never win an episode. So can we assume that May figured out the raw egg and did do the blowout? Hi. <laughs> something funny about an egg. Yes, the current <laughs> What was that? What was that? Um, I'm just gonna take my shoes and socks off. Yes, give me some. What? Are you allowed to put them on the floor for me? Oh. Yeah, okay. What, why are we going foot based? This it doesn't. Looks like I'm wanking off an egg with my foot. That's a bit. Hmm. Now what? Mm hmm. I'm gonna get a pin. Right? I'm not sure this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Well, that's the way. Well, you found you found the wet, uh, the raw egg. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of the egg out. Well, it's pretty much done. Three pieces. If I'm being completely honest, there's three. Yes, yeah, you should be. Do, does the the one that's still held together by? No. What's it say? Jenny was the raw one. Yeah, Frankie, Frankie. Boyle. Frankie and Benny. Yeah, that's infuriating. I feel nauseous from watching that. Like, that was... I, I, we've all been quite traumatised. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can tell, like... Should we just score it and move on? <laughs> Let's just agree it's been the worst <laughs> task and the worst response to the task in, in 15 series. <laughs> Let's move on. By some distance. By the some worst task distance. ever. <laughs> it's a contender. What a weird one. All the Timberlands. Huh. Well, off-brand Timberlands. This looks oh. great. Yeah, it's an improvement. It's a massive green. Bash the big bell with a bowling ball. Fastest gets five points. Big bell Slowest bowling ball. gets ball. four points. Nobody else BG gets Ouija. any points. Oh. Interesting. You must stay off the grass unless you're wearing gold shoes. Oh. If anything other than the bowling ball or gold shoes touches the grass, you are disqualified. Okay, so... I'm not going to be able to do that. Well, it might hit. Or not. Now what? Oh, now you can't reach it. No, I've got to find some golden shoes. There's one. I found one. Oh, well done. Yeah. That didn't take long. You, you could hop around on the one golden shoe, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> Under the golden pineapple. They, they both only find one. I'm going to gold spray. Oh, yeah. that's smart too. Nope, that's red pick. Oh, that's not fair. That's so not fair. Why would they do that? <laughs> so what's the plan? Hop. Go on one foot. Does the red paint is the red so paint gold. gold? Red paint's gold. I like it. Well, well salt, Jenny, and if if May can hop this well. Presumably, you can touch the green after the bell has rung, in which case May should be fine. But they did touch the green after the bell rang. Why didn't you pick up the ball at any point? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that now? Three minutes 40. If you got the right paint first time round, you would have beaten May, who got two minutes 57. So you both did extremely well. Good. Okay. Well
<laughs> but did, did did anyone just have a good bowl? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, my shoes. Oh. Oh. They prepared for your shoes if you do one of the following. Oh, okay. So hundred pound in this bank account. You know, a perfect dippy boiled egg with buttered sausages and a glass of milk. Physically remove them. Physically remove them. I thought time to make me some gold shoes. Does that count? Oh. <laughs> you know it's not terrible. Oh, on the down? On the down? Oh! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Time? Okay, so they had a contingency for anyone asking for Alex's shoes. Golden snowshoes. <laughs> yeah. Yellow. Yellow. We all yellow. know it's not gold. It's yellow. Yellow. Frankie, six minutes fifty is the slowest. Kyle, three minutes forty-five. So I I missed the only the the quickest and the slowest to get points. I thought it was just the fastest. Oh man! So that adds another level of strategy, but it explains the twenty minutes max. Okay. Does he just do it in one? What if it doesn't come back? Yeah, what if? I don't want to do life like that. On the down, on the down. Uh... No! No! Oh no, Ivo! Alex will give you his shoes if you do one of the following. Is he gonna make him a boiled egg? <laughs> well, this will be the slowest. Two minutes left. I would have happen. seriously considered the yes. the 100 pound Beautiful. deposit. Oh, lovely. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> well done, Ivo. Where's my milk? It's my milk now. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! Nothing can touch the grass other than the ball and the shoes. Oh no! Slowest. Yeah. yeah. And he did complete the task with but 16 seconds to go. Something touched the green other than. So it looks like May gets the five and Ivo gets the four. Except. Right. But it is worth doing one last check. Remember, if anything touches the grass other than golden shoes, you're disqualified. Ivo is realizing. Can I have a look in the bar? We don't have stand on grass. Oh, the real grass! The real grass, too! What's happened? You just touched. Nothing. Don't go on the grass! What? <laughs> Still on the grass! It. Technically, this isn't grass, it's just the green. Please don't take my four points with three other people getting zero away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Really throwing myself fully behind yellow isn't gold now. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> what I would say is that if we disqualify Frankie, then May is both the fastest and the slowest, and we'll get nine points. Oh. Frankie, I loved your gold shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, you get Oh, four dear points. God. Hey, Martin, another five points. Like, I would argue that the green wasn't the grass at all then. Oh, man, though. That's... I, I feel for Ivo. Walk around the chairs, listening to Greg's story. Then sit on a chair when you hear a word containing two letter L's. Oh boy. If you fail to sit on a chair when you hear a word containing two letter L's, you are disqualified. Best listener wins. So it's wow. Like it's musical chairs, chairs, but with the... the music, it's going to be Greg reading yeah. the story to you. It's two L's in the first story. Oh, man. <laughs> the sun was setting. The light was magical. And the water lapped to the shore of the lake. One of my favourite stones, I think. And... Oh. So... 
Little Alex Hall. Little! Oh. No! <laughs> you did that very badly. Very, very badly. The next story, you should sit down when you hear a word with a U in it. With a U? In the morning, I like to have a pot of coffee and a slice of cake. If he is a very lucky boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Frankie, just. Frankie Boyle, shoulder barge into the chair. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Can we remove a chair? Yeah. yeah. Fuck oh, this. Would you... <laughs> Sit down when you hear a word that starts and ends with the same letter. These oh. are the closing rules. One, the shirt should be tucked in, really tucked in, right in. Two. <laughs> there was no words there that started and ended with the same letter. We've got Frankie Boyle. Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the great one's going faster. That was a lot of processing to have to do. This time you should sit down when you hear a six letter word. I don't remember much about that fateful night. And I can't be held responsible for the terrible accident that happened to little Alex. Little! Yeah. And that does mean this episode has been won by May Martin! Oh. Frankie was close. It's good news. Salvatore lived, and you're about to get your body rocked. <laughs> Oh, Jenny gets her brace cleaner. This series, guys, I, I'm having so much fun with it. It's just, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just all working. All the contestants are awesome. The tasks, even when they fail, are hilarious. You would think maybe after 15 series a show might get a little stale or they'd run out of good ideas for new tasks. But at this point, by the, by the end of series 15, what are we looking at? Well, since, since the show went to 10 episodes, five, ep five tasks a map, we're probably pushing 700 tasks. I'm sure somebody's got the exact count. But we're probably pushing 700 by the time this series is over. That's a lot of creativity on the production team's behalf. And they are not slowing down at all. They're, they're having a lot of fun. You know, we've entered the realm where prize tasks are much more specific than those early days where it's most expensive or most beautiful. You know, now we're doing most fun in the bathroom. And Frankie's BG Ouija board was lovely like I, I like it was just funny you know i i'm in the process of doing uh taskmaster australia right now as well and while it's a lot of fun the contestant i don't, I don't know the the prize tasks just aren't hitting for me I, I i feel like something's missing there and i don't think it's in the in the brief of the task but it's rather in the execution and there seems to be a general lack of commitment to the prize task in, in the Australian version. Counterpoint this series, where May is making something every single episode. Frankie's invested in original art almost every episode. There's a lot of creativity on everyone's behalf. When someone is just buying a random something on Amazon. They're doing it with the express purpose of hopefully winning it like Jenny did today because she hasn't got a brace cleaner and she would really like one. Uh, I think all around it's just a lot of fun. Uh, this was an episode where Frankie's original art almost broke... Like, I'm guessing somebody made it for him in an art therapy class because that seems to be the norm with him. But it wasn't his standard painting that we've got we've become accustomed to in previous episodes. And May's go-to is something eyeglass related, and they didn't do that this episode either, but they did make a a roulette of toothpaste. So, you know, commitment. 
imagination. And, and I mean, we're ignoring the fact that Ivo sat down and made a scale model of the Titanic. You could tell from the paint job that he did it himself. Kudos to all of them. But I think Frankie did deserve the points. I'm surprised Kyle got second only because when he presented it, Greg didn't seem very impressed. But by the end of things, Greg was pretty happy with it. I mean, after all, you can play three blind mice. Nothing to sniff at. First task was our imaginary friends task. And we've certainly never had a task on this show where the goal is the most poignant. And so we had dramatic scenes and four out of our five imaginary friends died. And, and the other one left us. There, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of sadness in this little segment. And there was some humor too. Uh, there was some imagination at work as far as how our friends died. And I think that's ultimately how it ended up getting scored. You know, bake to death on a cookie tray wins. Um, head accidentally lopped off by a garden trimmer loses. That seems fair. <laughs> I'm surprised Jenny didn't go with her original idea with her friend in her bra. She may have done better if she had stuck with that original instinct. I don't think I have too much more to say on this subject. There, there's some acting chops in this cast, and, and some of it was actually on display, but it, I wasn't expecting to see it on display from Frankie. But yeah, there was a, uh, there was a heartfelt performance hidden in there. Uh, Greg was impressed, I was impressed. Then we had the self-proclaimed worst task ever on Taskmaster. I'm not sure it's there, but I don't think it went at all how, how Alex and the producers envisioned it. Since there were five eggs, I would assume that there's some boiled ones in there and a raw one in there. But I've seen enough of this show to also think maybe there's a ceramic one or a rubber one in the mix. Um, although, in retrospect, maybe that wouldn't be as interesting because there's nothing you can do to, to peel those and you only get one attempt. So you discover those and move on. No harm, no foul. It was a weirdly phrased question to begin with, a uh, task to begin with. The, the fewest pieces of eggless shell just felt, it, I don't know, it was confusing. That, that sums it up. The solve, I think, if it's a hard-boiled egg, is to attack it with a knife the way Jenny did, get as clean a slice as possible, and then eat it like a... Eat it like a hard-boiled egg. And, you know, if you've got a clean enough cut, that's a two-piece-of-shell sh solution. And eventually I came around to figuring out the solve if you came to the, the raw egg. You know, granted, that wasn't until I realized that there was, in fact, a raw egg in the, in the task. Some people immediately went for utensils, but I, I find it interesting that two of the contestants' first instinct was to take their shoe off. You know, when you're in that lab... It must feel like it's just an empty room. There's nothing to work with. And, and your first instinct isn't to leave the room to go get tools. Um, nothing says you can't. I'm just saying that's not where your mind necessarily goes first. So you're, if you can't use your hands, you're left with your feet in your mouth, I suppose. But May definitely got lucky in this one. They... They had the idea about finding the raw egg, but the the technique of finding it, I can't imagine would have actually worked. Like, would I be able to tell if an egg was raw or boiled by putting it whole in my mouth? I almost feel like I have to test that theory, but I, I can't imagine I'd be certain. Maybe if I did them back to back, I'd go, oh, there's a little more sloshing going around in that one. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference with your hands between a boiled and an unboiled egg. But yeah, presumably there'd be noodle um, needles in the house. Noodles too, probably. And then you need a straw. Well, I guess you can you do... I've never actually done that blowout technique that you use for make, um, for for painting Easter eggs and that sort of thing. But can you just do it by placing your mouth through the hole? 
Like I know you have to like um, scramble the raw yolk inside, otherwise it's not going to come out. But anyway, I'm sure I'm sure people can tell me in the comments. I'm, I'm not sure it, it comes up to worst task ever, but what what it begs the question: If this isn't it, what is the worst task ever on? Taskmaster. I'm sure there's been a couple where no points were awarded, where everybody screwed it up. That has to be like an automatic qualifier. I can't I can't think of what the tasks were, but I know that there's a task or two like that. You would think that would qualify quite handily as the worst task ever. But what do you guys think? What's your what's your nomination for worst task ever on Taskmaster? Either because you felt it was unfair or no one performed it well, or or what? What what are your thoughts? It just didn't go the way the producers planned. Then we had the keep off the grass task, the golden shoes, the red bowling ball, bang the bell with the big big bowling ball. If they're disqualifying people for standing on the real grass, does that negate? The fact that the green artificial turf is grass. It begs the argument, if nothing else. I, I, I suspect I'd lose that argument to, to, to Greg. But it begs the argument that you could just walk, on, walk over and drop the bowling ball on the bell. I, I, I half expected somebody to just bowl once and hit it. Not the easiest thing to do, but not impossible either. You know, you basically get two attempts at it, you know, because if, if, you, if you do it right, you've got the potential of a roll back that, that hits it as well. I, I was really impressed with Jenny's solve because she's like, okay, I'll just paint my shoes gold. And then she finds the gold spray paint, but it's red. And then she was like, not defeated, she just goes, okay, then I'll go grab the red spray paint, it's gold, and she was right, and honestly, I'm not sure I would have made that step, I would have found the gold color to spray paint, painted my shoe red, and given up on that, I love that, and I think this is the first time I can recall where the producers anticipated people asking Alex for help, they planned for it, frankly, because they put him in gold shoes, um, but then they, they had a second task to get his gold shoes. And the, the three ways you could get his gold shoes, deposit a hundred bucks in his bank account. That's it. That's, that could be quick if you've got the app. Might be worth it, frankly. hundred bucks. Make him the perfect boiled egg with buttered soldiers and a cup of milk. I could see why Ivo would go there. And then physically remove them, which Ivo ended up doing. <laughs> it, it, th th this task had it, it had everything, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, oh wait, it's an egg. It's an egg heavy episode. But let's go back to the previous ep uh, task for one second, because the ultimate reveal of Frankie, Frankie, Jenny, Frankie, Frankie on the table in the lab, telling you which which egg was unboiled. Yet again, I, I I was beginning to wonder whether after series 14, we might be giving up on hiding clues and, and, and stuff under, under desks and tables and, uh, you know, written on the wall in the lab and that sort of thing. You know, maybe enough people are looking out for that at this point that it's not worth doing those kind of tricks anymore. But it's still happening, and they're still catching people unawares. And no one noticed until May noticed after the fact in this, in this, in that one in particular. Uh, it does make me wonder if they always tell us and the tell the audience, tell the contestants if nobody discovers it. You know, if if they had you know something, you know, a secret advantage in the room for the observant and nobody observes it, do they blow that secret just for the broadcast or do they save it for the next time? Um, 
I'd be sorely tempted both ways because those kind of reveals are so much fun on the show. But I get it as a producer. You don't necessarily want to give away all your tricks if you don't have to. Anyway, back to Don't Step on the Grass. I, I like how strategic everyone is thinking about the scoring in this show. I missed it when they read the task that only the, fa- the fastest person gets five points, the slowest person gets four, and everyone else gets nothing. Strategic scoring, man. It explains the 20... I, I, I was half wondering about the 20-minute time limit, but sometimes that's just to keep the day moving. But no, that was because of the slowest. You know, Otherwise, you could have taken hours and hours and hours. But four out of the five went for fast, and Ivo just ended up being slow, but I don't feel like it was intentional. I really do wonder, like, if I I feel like a case could be made, just pick up the ball, walk out to the bell, drop it on the bell, mission done. I didn't step on grass. I stepped on green carpet, sure, but I didn't step on grass. I feel like that argument could be made, but I do like how strategic everyone's being, because when it became clear that everyone had a case for being disqualified and may would get nine points both the five for being fastest and the four for being slowest then suddenly no one was arguing about frankie's golden shoes Uh, suddenly they were golden they weren't yellow so i i appreciate that people are like okay nope not gonna fight that and 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 may turns around and says actually i have a problem with that now because they want the nine points but it does feel like between this episode and last, there's some um, some tasks recently on this show that have the potential for very big swings. Nothing's going to top the, the the 15 point swing that was available at the end of last episode. But this could have been a nine point swing like that. Um, I feel bad for Ivo because he put the pedestal down on the the green carpet, but that got him disqualified. I. I If I was him, I would have argued. That's not grass. Nevertheless, everyone got disqualified other than Frankie and me. And they're the ones that walk away with the points. Kudos to them. Final task, musical chairs, but it's listening to Taskmaster stories. The pace picked up over those stories. Like The first one felt on the slow side, but at a... like at a pace that made it possible to like, does that word have two L's? Does that word have two L's? Ask yourself the question time and time again. By the end, it was, Greg was properly reading fairly quickly. And you're like, trying, like, that doesn't sound like a six letter word, but by the time you sort of like thought about it, he said five more words and you don't think any of them were six either, but you're not sure. Most of them sounded either really short or really long, but kudos to May for jumping on the little Alex said Kyle did really poorly in the first round, but I think Kyle realized a, he made a false start and grabbed the chair early and B he wasn't going to get to a chair when the, the two L word little again got said. So he, he didn't want to make the effort and still lose. So he just like casually kept walking. I think he knew he would have been disqualified even if he grabbed a chair. So he just played it cool. I I, I can appreciate that. I don't have that level of cool, but I appreciate someone like him who does. Then Frankie shoulder checks Jenny out of a chair. Always a good sight. And then Frankie jumps on... what, What was the... When it was fine, uh, sit on the word with the U, the first word with a U, Frankie jumped, uh, sat early on that one. And Ivo was right on his tail. Ivo was just being reactionary. Which makes me think Ivo might have been reactionary the whole time. Uh, because he didn't react at all when May when it was just down to, to him and May. Because there's only one chair to jump to. And May was already sitting there. Anyway, uh, great episode. Man, I love this show, guys. It it's it's my favorite thing to watch. It it not, nothing makes me happier for longer than an episode of Taskmaster, and the the rewatch is no less entertaining. 
which is rare for for any type of show but but especially for comedy I find and, and yet man I could I could rewatch I I have as much fun when I'm editing these episodes as as when I'm watching them the first time so I'm going to get to editing because I want to get this reaction out to you guys as quickly as I can. Thank you guys so much for spending a little time with me here today on Neil Talks. I love your feedback. I love your comments. Don't forget to tell me what you think the worst task in Taskmaster history might be. And thank you for doing all the algorithm things that make YouTube happy. Until next time, everybody. Take care. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.